I would like to test this table uh, in an analysis in FreeCAD FEM versus SOLIDWORKS Simulation FEA. And if you'd like to follow along, you can download this table from my GrabCAD account. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to run the uh, FEM workbench and start constraining some faces. As I do this, I'd like to also uh, tell you that the main objective of this study is to uh, check out where the points lie on the stress plot and uh, the displacement that FreeCAD puts out and compare it to SOLIDWORKS. Uh, I am not a career analyst, and so I will do my best to uh, make everything the same between FreeCAD and SOLIDWORKS. I can't guarantee that there's not some place that I may have uh, changed. And so we're going to look at the quantitative numbers of maximum stress and things like that uh, indulgingly, but uh, I won't guarantee that they're perfect. So let's use a uh, force acting on this face and we'll reverse the direction going downward. I'm going to make that force 150 newtons. Okay, uh, so we have anchored faces and a face with uh, stress on it. I'm going to assign a material and I'm going to make that C10 steel. There's C10. And now we need to add in a mesh. So highlight my entire body, put in a G mesh. My maximum element size, I'm going to make uh, 50. Um, and then my minimum mesh element size will be zero. We're going to apply that. And you can see we're meshed up here. I always get this warning. It seems like no matter what I mesh, so I'm simply clicking OK. Uh, from here, I'm going to highlight my mesh by using the space bar and hide my body by using the space bar. So now we're only looking at mesh. And we should be ready to uh, run the analysis. We've written the IMP file. And let's run Calculix. With our uh, results loaded, let's take a look at uh, von Mises stress. As you can see, we have an area of stress here and a little bit here, a little bit in here, but it, we've come to a sort of a maximum at this point and on the other leg at this point with a considerable amount of stress right there uh, per the scale. Uh, looks like our max stress is going to be 71.6 kilopascals. And uh, let's look at our uh, displacement. As you can see, it displaces as we would expect. And I'm going to show my displacement. As you can see, there is not much displacement happening. So I'm going to factor this up as high as I can, and uh, I'd uh, actually give our slider a max. There we go. And that is kind of an animation of what our displacement looks like if it were exaggerated. So let's run this in SolidWorks and uh, see how we're doing. So I'm going to uh, open the same part as a step file. And we have uh, no faces or gaps. So the first thing I'll do is set material. I have taken the material properties out of FreeCAD's C10 steel and put them uh, in a custom material that I made in SolidWorks, um, converted to newton meters, of course, so that this should mirror the properties of C10 exactly as what FreeCAD had. Uh, let's uh, go into the simulation tab. We'll create a new study, and just like have we've done in FreeCAD, uh, we're going to use a static analysis. Uh, it's listed in there, but we've got static. And now let's take a look at fixtures. And we're going to create fixed geometry on these bottom faces. Let's put an external load on there, a force, as we had done in uh, FreeCAD. We're going to make this 150 newtons.
And now, make a mesh. And I want to mesh it the same way that I've done in uh, FreeCAD. So we're going to open up the parameters, standard mesh. And uh, this should be the max size, which we'll do uh, 50 millimeters. <laughs> which converts to inches. And then uh, you have to have a positive value. So in here we're going to go with uh, a thou. I could probably do 0.1. And uh, now we're meshing. So we have a mesh to what we hope to be similar dimensions as to what FreeCAD had. I think the mesh has an overall uh, different appearance, but uh, really I think when you scale it you have somewhat of a similar size of mesh. And as to be expected, they're different engines, they'll mesh it differently. Uh, so it uh, looks like we're going to be ready to actually run the study. And we've run the study. So as you can see, we have a plot of the von Mises stress. And let's compare this to what we have in FreeCAD. Now the color scales are um, very different in FreeCAD. This uses green, whereas this seems to use blue, green, and red, so it makes the scaling a lot more apparent, right? It's easy for me to see uh, numerous regions. So FreeCAD uh, doesn't quite give us the same visual re representation, but if you look, we've got a slight amount of stress right here. SolidWorks has the same. Um, right on the front of this face, there's a moderate amount of stress. SolidWorks has the same. I have a lighter color right here. SolidWorks has the same. So if I move over here, we've got stress in the same areas down here. I have a uh, maximum stress right on the inside of that leg. Oh, SolidWorks has it. I have to move my screen differently between SolidWorks and FreeCAD. <clears throat> it's a little bit of a mind bender. Uh, so let's let's move on to this leg. Again, stress in the same areas. Here, here, and then I've got my maximum stress in there, and in here in SolidWorks. So these plots that tell us where the stress is going to be is identical. Now, if I run um, displacement in SolidWorks. And over here in FreeCAD, I'll just orient this. Um, if I switch that to displacement, you can see, and this is a lot easier, they displace identically. <laughs> um, where in FreeCAD, I can sort of displace it using my slider bar. In SolidWorks, I can actually animate the displacement. And of course, it gives me this animation where I can run it slow or ungodly fast, where you don't even know what's going on. Um, so they, again, seem exactly the same. Even have the legs bending similarly. When you look at how it's all done. So, uh, again, very impressive. If I look at the uh, actual quantitative data, um, especially with uh, von Mises stress. When I look at my maximum stress, I have 71.6 kilopascals. Again, let's look at this indulgingly, as I've said from the beginning of the video. Um, go to chart options and uh, annotate the max stress. There we go. Our max is going to be 
6926, so that would be 69 kilopascals. So I've got 69 kilopascals versus uh, 71 kilopascals. So there's a minor difference in stress, but they're both really close. That's probably uh, a few percent. So there's a 3% difference in uh, maximum stress between these two, and that might be a factor of, uh, uh, from the user instead of the software. Uh, so <clears throat> overall, how impressive FreeCAD is that uh, these stress plots are so extremely similar, even have a minor amount of stress right there on that face, and FreeCAD is lighter color right in there. So uh, I, I'm very impressed. Um, like, and I'm a little bit more familiar with um, simulating injection molding in plastics, and when you uh, do a plastic software, you find that the analysis is very, very accurate in telling you where you're going to have warp. It's not very accurate in telling you the magnitude of warp, and FreeCAD seems to mirror SolidWorks amazingly well uh, in terms of where the stress is going to be, and ostensibly it seems to be quite accurate as far as the actual numbers, at least as far as what SolidWorks says being close to it. Uh, so these software seem very similar. I think FreeCAD is incredible for having this level of functionality and being uh, open source. I hope this video was helpful, and uh, please subscribe. That's way to help me back. I'll see you in the next video.